Hi, this is Evolution Go and I'm Lisa Taylor. Let's have a look about how to breathe and move through the sun salutations. So breath is like this. There's an inhale, after it a pause, then an exhale and another pause. So the inhale, you would wanna start drawing air in and have that intake of air be just as robust at the end of the intake as it was at the beginning. So if you were breathing in for about three counts, it would be inhale, 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 and pause, then you hold that. And then the exhale lasts just as long as the inhale. Same dynamic qualities where it's just as powerful on the last count of the exhale as it was on the first count. And then also know this, when the exhale is long as or longer than the inhale, it has a soothing quality. So it's inhale, 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 pause, and exhale, 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 pause. No matter how fa fast the pace of the class becomes, because of course it becomes cardiovascular, your heart rate rises, the breath pace goes more quickly, you still have all four of those spaces in your breath that allows for you to do the whole practice, particularly the sun salutations, no matter how fast they go. So before we take a look, one more thing to know. The space of the pause, what's going on there? Well, that's really where the magic happens. So it's the place where the pose lands. And then even on the other side of it, there's this quality of vitality where the pose gets plugged in, where you receive back this like rebound of benefit, whether it's that all of a sudden it feels like gravity is rising up and happening and helping you, or this quality feeling of being plugged in and a surge of energy comes your way, or a surge of peacefulness and calmness. However it feels, space is what's happening for you, vitality is what's happening for you. It occurs when we have all four parts of the breath. So let's take a look at sun salutation B and see how these four parts of the breath influence sun salutation B. So at the front of your mat, ready to go, feet parallel, hip width distance, squat down, inhale, reach up, pause, so the peak of the pose occurs, exhale, the pose gets a relief, and you pause. Inhale, it adds to the pose, it brings in energy, it brings space and length, and then exhale, all the way down, and pause. Inhale, come to upward facing dog and pause. Exhale, move to downward facing dog. Step forward on the pause. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. Stretch with the pause. Exhale, your hands come all the way down. Low plank on the pause. Inhale, upward facing dog, pause. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step forward on the pause. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead, pause. Exhale, your hands come down to the mat, step back, lower down, pause. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold for as many as breath, as many breaths as you need here. Three breaths, five breaths. Just keep it consistent between the different sun salutation. But on the last one, take a deep breath in. On the exhale, get ready. Move, whether you're jumping or stepping on the pause, Immediately inhale, lift up, halfway lift. Pause here. Forward fold and pause. Then you start again. Inhale, reach up, pause. And on and on like that. Now, if you're teaching sun salutations, you just can't figure out why they're getting really fast, why people seem rushed. You're probably missing the pauses. In particular, the pause on the halfway lift and then also the pause when you're jumping, so halfway lift, pause when you're right up here, and then also the pause when you go all the way back to the low push-up, you hover right here. Inhale, reach up, pause, and on from there. So the halfway lift and the low plank, two key places to look for the pause in the sun salutation practice. This is Evolution Go, I'm Lisa Taylor, and this is the breath in sun salutations. Thank you.